I was asked how I managed to animate the equations in my video, so I just wanted to do one of those really quickly. Um, so here's an equation, and let me just take, let's say, acceleration equals v minus v zero parentheses divided by time. So there is a normal Microsoft equation um, in PowerPoint. Acceleration is my change in velocity over time. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Now what I want to do is animate that and I want to make it so that I wind up with a different equation. So let me just insert that equation. Um, whoops, I'm inserting on top. Let's try that again. Insert another equation. Uh, and here what I want to say is that I want to end up with v equals v zero uh, plus at. So that's my final version of my equation and let me make that to the same font size. I got a little bigger. Maybe that's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Um, so if this is where I'm starting and this is where I wind up, what I needed to do was I needed to make the motion of every individual character here kind of find its way around and move over here. I had intermediate steps but uh, the problem here, let me just duplicate that. Um, if I take this and I say this is my V, so this is just a V. Uh, let me duplicate that, and this is going to be my V0. So let me make that my V0. So what I'm doing is I'm making each individual point of each individual part of my old one become a new one. So let me get rid of that and make that an equals. Let me make the next one a, um, a and a T. So duplicate that for an A and duplicate that for a T. So there's my T and this one will be my A and then I should be mostly there. So sorry I had to sit through that. Hopefully you fast forwarded. Uh, the next step, if I want to animate it, I want to take this A and kind of overlay it where that A was. I want to take this T and overlay it where that T was. I want to take this V and overlay it where that V was. I'm going to need a minus. I have my equals. So I put my equals where my equals goes. And then I have my V0, which I can move to where I put my V0. And then I'm going to need a um, minus. Actually, the minus is going to become a plus, but yeah, we'll do that anyway. So this is now a minus. So the minus goes where the minus goes. Now that's a big mess. Um, so to get it precise, let me zoom in. And I usually hold down Alt. And that way I can kind of take a look at where they are. It's, you can't align because you're not actually using the um, center of an object or the side of an object. But So if you want to fast forward through this as well, you can. Um, once I have my objects aligned pretty good. Then I'm going to add motion paths to them. And it's a pretty simple motion path. It's just a down. But again, I want to align it with something. So there's my T. So now I've got the overlaid um, variables that I'm going to move. So let me zoom out just a little bit. Now I want to move motion from A and the equals and the V and the minus and the V0 and the T. And now if I look at my animations and I show my animation pane, there's my animation pane. What I want to do is I want to add an animation and I don't want an entrance, I don't want an emphasis. What I want is to add, um, actually let me do that first. I'm going to add and appear on all of them. So they're going to pop out on top. That'll make it, if I'm slightly off, it won't be sitting there too long and looking fuzzy. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to add a motion path line. I just want everything to move down. So when I click on it, it's going to move down. Um, so now I have two types of animations. I have my appear and I have my motion. Now what I can do is I can zoom in a little bit on where I want them to end up. So here is, if I click on this red, that's where the A will wind up. Well, I want my A to wind up over here. Uh, in order to fine tune it, I can hold Alt. This next red arrow is my equals, so I can hold on that and hold my Alt key to fine tune where I'm placing it. I can take this one and that's going to be my V. Well, my V is going to wind up over here. My next one is going to be my minus. My minus is actually going to wind up here and become a plus, but still I want to move it to the right place. 
and I'm going to take this one, and that's my V0. Let me move my V0 over here. And finally, I'm going to take my T and move my T over here. Now, I could get really careful and see where they wind up. Now, if I preview that, you'll see that I start with my equation here. As I click, then my variables appear. As I click again, my variables all move to the right place. So to make that a little smoother, I saw that my A was a little bit out of place. Um, let me move back to where I can see them. Uh, so my A was a little bit out of place. I could zoom in and fix that. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, so my A is a little bit out of place, so I could move that. When I hold on to it, you can see that my A is a little bit out of place. Hold down the Alt key and kind of line it up better. But to make it a little smoother, what I do is I want them letters to appear and then move. So I'm going to take this instead of on click, I'm going to do it uh, after previous. So they'll appear and then they'll move real quickly. I'm also going to take my base equation here and I'm going to make that one add animation appear as soon as the other ones are done. And so I'm going to make that after previous. And I could even make my original letters, um, all of these, uh, add another animation to make them disappear as soon as they're done. Um, so there is my and my times. So, whoops. So it's my time, my v0. Anyway, take all of these and hold down the shift and get rid of this one. And now those are all my variables. I'm going to add another animation, and now they're all going to just disappear uh, once I get them in place and pop up the other one. And that I am going to set as immediately after previous. And now when I do my animation, I have my initial equation because uh, everything else is going to appear, then move, and then the actual equation is going to show up, and then it's going to disappear. So they move, other equation pops up, and my originals disappeared, and that is how I animated moving equations.